Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black Sea, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about Crypto.com CrowCoin. Take a look at Bitcoin because that is the important thing that we should be focusing on here. Take a look at Bitcoin dominance and kind of just give you my opinion on where I think we could be headed here. So without further ado, let's hop into this video. So guys, right now, Bitcoin trading above 35,600. I like to see that. I want to see us trading above 35,000. And if we can trade above 35,500, that's even better for a continuation to the upside here. Right now, we're seeing Bitcoin dominance level come down, trading at 51.72%. When you exclude stable coins, it's about 53.72%. About 2% of the overall crypto market cap is about stable coins, 2%-ish about that. So right now, what's happening? Liquidity is moving out of Bitcoin, going into altcoins, and you can see this. Look, I mean, look at this. Link is up an insane amount, 11% today. Matic up another 12% today. Guys, you know... This is reminding me of back when the previous bull market started. When you start to see these altcoins come back to life after trading sideways, like flatlining for six months a year, it's a good sign, guys. It's a good sign. It's. Uh, I'm not saying that we are only on the way up from here. I'm not saying that there's no chance of some heavy capitulation events before we make a new all-time high. But I am saying that this is a step in the right direction, and there's some life and some liquidity flowing back into the crypto space, into the crypto asset class as a whole. It's a bullish sign. There's life. Volatility is coming back. This is what crypto needs. And the more volatility that comes to the crypto space, the more exciting it is, the more people will want to join in because they want to get rich quick, which is obviously very, very dangerous. But everyone will always have greed. Greed will always be a player in this world and that's why there will always be trading and that's why we'll always have bull markets and bear markets because of greed and right now i think the majority of people haven't felt the greed just yet but the greed is slowly coming back and we're going to pay close attention to that guys we're going to pay very close attention to see how the markets react here in the next couple months because will we keep going to the upside i think right now things are looking pretty bullish but i do think that can't go straight up forever. But I do want to take a look over at Bitcoin because there's something that I've been thinking about a lot lately. So right now, we bottomed out at about 16,000 uh, in December, November-ish of 2022 uh, after the FTX capitulation. After FTX collapsed, we found a, we found a bottom. It was, the, it was the panic. It was the, the bottom dropped out of the market. We came to 16,000. And now we're recovering. We've been recovering, and now we are finally... We, we're above the Bitcoin Golden Cross on the 200-day moving average, I believe. Things are looking good. We're starting to finally make our way to the upside. But right now is a very um, strange time because people are having a tough time admitting or subscribing to the idea that we're going to be going up, that this is the beginning of the bull market. They think... There's no way, which to me sounds like disbelief. But I will say that back here, prior to the Bitcoin halving event, this move we had off the bottom in 2019, way back when here, January 2019, when we first started to make our way back up and we came up to about 13,000, granted this was earlier in the, in the four-year cycle time frame, than we are right now. When we started coming up here, and people thought this was back in the four-year cycle time before there was, we, we had a lot of data. This was when this was my second cycle around 2018. After we capitulated, I was buying down here. I was buying at three thousand dollar Bitcoin. I was buying, but as we started going up, I really did see. I did, really did feel that there was disbelief. I, I thought, you know, I don't know. I, 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 was, I rode this entire move back here where you have a little dead cat bounce and then you capitulate down. And I couldn't assess whether or not we were going to continue or not. Is there more time? Is there more bull mar bear market time? That's what I kept asking myself. But I did still accumulate. I was accumulating all the way down here. I bought this huge drop down here in the pandemic dump in 2019. I bought down there. But I ask myself right now, 
Are we in disbelief? Is this the beginning of the disbelief rally? Do we just continue to the upside? Because this bear market has been significantly longer when it comes to sideways price action and volatility than the previous cycle. Obviously because the market cap's larger, so it takes more money to move the market, it takes more money to flow in to have more volatility. But I'm, I'm finding myself, I'm asking, could this potentially be the beginning of these larger moves? Could this potentially be the beginning of the bull run? The, the main bull run, the big kahuna, you know, the, the big run from the having to the new all-time high, to the, to the hype rally. I'm really asking myself that and questioning myself because there's so much disbelief in the market right now. So many people are saying we need to come back down. And I'll be honest with you guys. I'll be the first to say that I kind of am subscribing to that idea too that maybe we need to come down a little bit. Maybe we come up to about 45,000 and then we capitulate down to 35, 32, maybe even 25,000. But a lot of people are thinking the same thing. And a lot of people are saying that the Bitcoin spot ETF is going to be a sell the news event. And when I think about that, when I see the majority making these statements, the hive mind consciousness, if you will, I really do wonder if this is possibly the beginning of the next large bull run. Is it happening prematurely before the halving right here? The halving is about 150, 160 days away, but is it happening prematurely? That would be max pain. That would definitely be max pain. A lot of people are expecting for, well, I'll start buying around the halving. I'll start buying when there's a supply shock. What happens if it's too late to buy after the halving? What happens if you're buying at 65000 at the halving? It would take a lot of money to flow in here, but I will also say, that the order books are very thin right now. You know, we can be in a bear market for years, right? And just because we're, the price action is suppressed and down doesn't mean that the scarcity of Bitcoin isn't increasing. The scarcity of Bitcoin, the Bitcoin is moving off of these exchanges consistently. It's been doing that for the past two years. The order books are thin. If someone comes in with a billion dollars now and buys Bitcoin, we may go up 10% hypothetically, okay? But if somebody came in and bought a billion dollars with a Bitcoin in February or November of 2020 back here, maybe Bitcoin only would have went up 5%. Do you understand what I'm saying? The order books are very thin. The money flowing into this space right now is going to have a much greater impact than it would have previously a couple years back because the order books are getting thinner and thinner. People are buying up Bitcoin. They're pulling it off of the exchanges. I do think that there's a possibility that the Bitcoin spot ETF is a sell the news event. But even if it is, maybe we just get a capitulation, a quick one. Say we come up to 45,000 or 70,000 maybe. I know that sounds ridiculous. We capitulate down after the Bitcoin spot ETF comes out and we say we come down to 45,000. And then we trade sideways for a little bit. And then when people can actually start to buy these products because just when the Bitcoin spot ETF gets approved, it's not just going to be a, a flip of a switch of, okay, now there's going to be trillions of dollars flowing in. There has to be products to be bought. Once the Bitcoin spot ETF is approved and it's created, now it needs to be offered to people in retirement funds and pension funds. It will take a little bit of time. So maybe we capitulate to the downside. It's a sell the news event. We slowly start to increase, and then, you know, 
we can finally be off to the races. But I do believe that uh, there's definitely a possibility here that we do continue to the upside significantly before the halving. I think that's Max Payne. I think a lot of people will miss out if that does happen. And I'm seeing a lot of people on whether it's YouTube or crypto Twitter calling for capitulation to the downside. That sounds like disbelief to me. Sounds like disbelief to me. A lot of people saying that there's no money to make Bitcoin move up. They're, the macroeconomics of the world is such a terrible place right now. There's no way that all this money could flow in. But um, that sounds like disbelief to me. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about that. Because I'm having a tough time buying the idea that um, everyone's right. I'm having a tough time buying that idea. I still think that there's definitely a possibility that we capitulate down after a little bit more of a run-up. Maybe we don't even come up more. We capitulate to the downside at from 35000 to 25000 Sure. But I think that will be very short-lived. I think it would be very, very short-lived. And everyone would be right, which is very strange. There needs to be much more FOMO in the market to have a capitulation to the downside. But you let me know what you guys are seeing. Are you guys seeing people FOMOing? Are you seeing people frothing at the mouth to put money into Bitcoin and crypto? I'm very, very curious. So over on CrowCoin, guys, I know you guys when I talk about CrowCoin, we're looking pretty good. We're, the Bitcoin dominance is coming down. There's liquidity moving into altcoins. Man, guys, look at this. This is very, very nice. Very, very nice. Closing above 0 0.0689 cents. Trading at 8 cents right now, guys. Crowcoin is trading at 8 cents. Very, very cool. Probably continuation. Probably trade around here. Looks like we are finding a little bit of a resistance at 8 cents. Eight, About 0 0.081 maybe. Maybe trade a little bit sideways here, make our way to ten cents. As long as Bitcoin tr keeps trading around thirty-five thousand, I think Crowcoin goes to ten cents. I think that that's a very likelihood of a scenario playing playing out. I think there's a very high chance of that playing out. Time will tell, though, guys. Guys, if you like this type of content, please like this video, subscribe to the channel right now. Go follow me on Twitter at three 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 Black C. I'm very very active over there. Like being in contact with you guys, asking you questions, kind of getting the lay of the land of what you think. Is going on in the market. It's a lot of fun. Also, consider becoming a member on the channel. Go below this video or to our homepage. Click the join button. Get access to our private Discord where we have NFT Alpha, trade signals, more of a one on one community with Crypto Kip and I. As well as when we reach 100 members on the channel, we're going to be giving away $500 worth of Bitcoin to a different member every single month leading up to the halving. Love giving back to you guys. Also, feel free to check out the description box below. We have a ton of awesome referral links for Femex, BitGet. $8,000 sign-up bonus with BitGet, which is incredible. There's also, I think, $4,600 sign-up bonus with Femex, which is a lot more accessible to U.S. citizens. Go check it out. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.